Hey there everyone and welcome to the walkthrough for Immortals of Avium. Now this is a game that when I first heard the title, nothing really came to mind. I thought alright, might be alright. But as soon as I first saw the gameplay, I was very intrigued. And I've actually heard some people make the connection of uh, like Ghostwire Tokyo. So maybe that might be why I'm intrigued by it so much, but um, it's going to be an interesting game, as far as I can tell. And I've heard that it's a it's a decent length, it's got a few chapters, has gear, and a few things that we'll see uh, as the game opens up. Haven't read too much into it, because I uh, want a lot of my genuine reactions to be uh, my first play it for with you guys. With that, let's go ahead and hit the start. Alright, got that login stuff done. Because I didn't realize there's a login for this. And I lowered the volume a little bit for... I just went from main volume and I turned it down from 100 to uh, 90. So hopefully it's not blaring for you guys. Because at first that was loud, even for me. Alright, jump in new game. Looks like we got three settings. Apprentice, more casual combat experience for players who want to focus on the story. Magnus, recommended, a balanced experience that will challenge most players. And Immortal, a difficult challenge for advanced players. We're definitely going to go with Magnus here. And... I would assume I'll jump right into the game now. There's a wound in our world. At the center of Avium, the wound grows larger by the day, threatening to swallow all of the five kingdoms. Our rulers ignore this as they wage their ever war, fighting over the control of magic. The powerful Magni, wielders of magic, lead their armies in an endless doomed cycle. If there's hope, it will not come from them. Wound Avium, Five Kingdoms, Ever War, Magic, Magni. Interesting. The braided lords of Kelthus surrender. Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glavegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshard. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west and the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood in protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secured. The Sky Islands, careful. unaware the ever war approached careful. with winged As careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the wound That's not a word. Earth, yawned wide as he spoke, declaring the Magni of their order now vanished. Damn! You think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. The the but... Mine! But I am not. But I am not the man content to simply wonder. I am. I'm wondering every third word. Distracted. Go, go, go. No one cares about Arce Norman. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone please take your seats. Hey, wait up. Luna. Over here, Jack. Chapter 1, Street Rise. Street Wise. Oh, that's right, I forgot this is first person. Alright, Saren, South Town. Interesting. I didn't realize this would take place partly, uh. before whatever. goes on. Huh. 
Oh, and we do have a map. Wait, what? Shroud veins? Golden chests? Hold on here. Hmm. Don't know what the shroud vein is. What's a golden chest icon here? Golden chest and like. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we move around not bad. At least we're being pretty basic here. Alright, let's let's follow Luna then. If we find some cool, if not, I'm sure we'll come back through this area at some on, point later in the game. Down. After you. How much did we get? Wait. I provided moral support. Mm -hmm. Maybe the others made out better. One can hope. Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say caper. 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 It's a fun word. Feels sneaky. Also, you two stay out of Topside. I will say, at least for this intro, the world and the character models look pretty good. Whoa. Huh. So we already have some magic ability, then? That allows us to do a second double jump, a second jump, no and double jump. Lift. Come on. So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? Um, Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. What kind of message does that send? It's pretty rude, if you ask me. Oh, we actually get to choose. Um. Message? Sandrak's just an asshole. He had them beat. Why would he... Just send a message. That's the whole thing we're talking about. What, like surrender to Rasharn and we'll only slaughter a few of you? Can't make omelets, Jack. What's an omelet? Never mind. Let's cut through the market. Huh. Lore entry, all right. 10.39 PA, 19th of the month of swords. Hmm. Luna's been our leader since I joined the gang and rightfully so, she's kept us alive and out of trouble more times than I can count. Now she wants to leave us and join the Light's army. No matter how many times I try, I can't convince her that they don't need her. We do. I do. The missions follow Luna. Luna and I found a good market theater. Time to head home and see how the others are doing. But let's keep an eye out for the constables. So I'm guessing we're part of a band of misfits. The market seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Wait, what's that? Magic? Interesting. I'm intrigued by this world. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mom. That sounds made up. I want to see this. What? Oh, it's leaving. Okay. I, I want to hop on there and see what that was about. So is he just levitating it, or is he actually uh, fixing it? Maybe fixing it, but sadly won't show us. Surprised we don't have any more information about this area that we're in. So, when are you gonna tell them? Are you gonna tell them? Maybe, I don't know. Feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure, I get that. Saren, okay. Saren, our home is built on a giant bridge crafted by some ancient and forgotten civilizations, divided into two parts, topside where the rich live and the underbridge, where the rest of us struggle to survive. Some say that 
Serum was founded as a garrison for soldiers who would attack enemies trying to cross into Lucium, and over time it just grew. At the least desirable place to live in Avium, the underbridge attracts the poor, the criminal, and the desperate. Most of, most of us that live here only think about one thing, leaving. Interesting. Wait, what was that? Okay, we got enemies, history, people, magic, the world, and text. Huh. And from what I've heard, too, this was actually made in the Unreal Engine 5, so this should be pretty impressive. Oh. Right. What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please, would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We- I've got an idea. That yeah, seems pretty good. Except, of course, the first- Oh! We got a text here. Excellent. Eviction notice. Saren Department of Housing eviction notice. You are hereby required to vacate these premises. Failure to vacate will result in legal proceedings, court costs, attorney fees, penalty damages, and potential incineration. Oh, pardon me? Incineration? Section 1572, Civil Code 9627. Interesting. I didn't look up either if there's some things that you can actually miss, especially in the opening section. Lurk notice. The Consortium of Lurk Detachers and Sweepers. Official notification. Warning. The CLRS has designated this area hazardous due to Lurk contamination and proliferation. Do not enter. Your safety is our concern. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Saren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the Lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Huh. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. Make corporal, I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Everwar. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Everwar. I want to fight for Lucium. Exactly the same thing. Just shut up and shoot. Nice. Let's check the Everwar. For as long as any of us can remember, the Everwar has kept the kingdoms of Avium in constant conflict. Alliances come and go, and the battle lines have changed a thousand times. These days, it's Lucium against Rasharn, and it seems like Lucium is losing. Badly. They draft anyone they can get their hands on and throw them into the meat grinder. Not gonna happen to me. Alright, press R2 to sh shoot the large barnacles. Hmm. All done. Let's go. When they ship you off to fight in the Everwar, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows? Maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless, and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like... Pew, pew, pew. 
A Magnus is like, pow, bing, brrr. I mean, it's not even a contest. Yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic as far as the magnet are concerned. Magic magnet. Ooh, what's this? Blue essence. Hold. Wait a second. What can that be used for? Magic magni. Magic is part of all of our lives. Some of us can wield a little bit of it. Others own an enchanted item or two to make their lives easier. But the magni are something else entirely. They are the most powerful magic users of Fabium and the main weapons in the Ever War. Most are born with their magic powers, which usually leads to a life of wealth and privilege, unless they get killed first on the front lines. Seems like a raw deal. Hmm. I am curious then what this essence will be used for. If it's upgrades or something else. Got some gold. Nice. Alright, not all chests can be open like that. Alright. Fair enough. Wait, can I be a dick? Nope. I was hoping I could break up one of those barrels. Just to see. Just try to do something. I should probably follow her. Keep the story going. Wait a second. Green essence. Oh, I can smell Fife's stew from here. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like regret. <laughs> We're home. Okay, are we going in? Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning, and that's when the soldiers fear you into the army because Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. How'd you score? <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out the back of Troy's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh, no. You're not eating that. Shoo. Probably wise. Stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us? Shut up, you. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so they act like a little, uh, happy family. Uh, home. Somehow Luna managed to scrape up enough cash to buy this place. Official like. She owns the deed and everything. It's because for her we all have a roof over our heads and that's more than I could ever ask for. Alright, so two, two kids and... Well, two young kids. And then three older kids. Luna, Jack, and I guess uh, Caleb. What do you put into stew when it's someone's birthday? What? Birthday stew. What goes in it? Yeah, that's not a thing, Fife. Wanna try it? And? It's the snails that really seal the deal. <laughs> I like that there's actual dialogue choices. I hope it actually has some uh, effect on the game, though. This is a nice little home here. Lightless and the Lights Army. I want to get that gold while it's there. What are you doing, Rugrat? Stole some posters, adding them to my scrapbook. Want to see? Sure. But what's with you stealing posters? It's part of the historical record, Jack. Join the fight. No thanks. This propaganda is going to rot your brain. Is that what happened to Luna? Brain rot? 
Is that why she's joining the Lights Army in the morning and leaving us? Yes, sir. No, sir. No one escapes the draft, Babs. Plus, I really think Luna believes it's the right thing to do. Why is finding the Evil the right thing to do? Look, I never said it was. And you better not tell Luna I said anything. She pretty much thinks I already have. Hmm. Some more text. Luna Steed, which she makes sure to put up. That way everyone knows. Enlistment contract. Now that I want to see. Luna Steed. Underbridge to sound both straights and CERN is R now registered. Absolute prior okay. Volunteer enlistment. I, Luna Umbridge, born in the safe Saren, do hereby acknowledge to have volunteered this 20th day of the month of swords, 10.30 p 9 PA, to serve as a soldier in the Light's Army for an initial period of 12 years, unless sooner discharged by the proper authority. Oh, so D she chose to. Interesting. I know you told him. I did not. Well, something's got him all riled. Look. It's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big, fat, official-looking books of... What is it this time? The Officer's Manual of Lights Army Regulations. See? No way that gave away the store, right? <sighs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred-foot-tall crab or one hundred one-foot-tall crabs? The day may come. Like a Vecchi crab or a crab crab? Does it matter? It's a hundred feet tall. Then fine. The hundred foot tall one. <laughs> Why that one? There is glory in that one. <laughs> Idiot. Look, I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just, just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. Oh, wow. Okay, so we get to talk a lot about quite a few things with her now. Okay. Babs is going to miss you. It'll be good for her. She'll be in charge before you know it. Already acts like she is. She's a natural. Fife has a guilty look. Because he's eating us out of house and home. All those apples you nicked yesterday? Gone. Those were supposed to last a week. They lasted an hour. Caleb's out late. I approved it. He's a good earner. Something's been really off with him lately. He's just impulsive. He'll grow up. You all will. So what's in that book of yours? Lights Army Regulations, duh. Sure, but like, the worst one. You have to wear a surprising number of reflective belts. <laughs> what? I mean it. Maintaining the grounds at the keep? Reflective belt. Directing constructs to clear the roads? Belt. 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 I didn't expect the Everwar to be so safety first. Or so polite. I'm going to have to learn like 20 different salutes depending on Magnus officer ranks and the color of magic they use. Unless it's a foreign dignitary, then it's a weird kind of ancient curtsy. Y you you know it's just going to be trenches and spell smoke, right? Night blades hacking away at everyone. Yeah, probably. You should keep quiet about being from Saren. What do you mean? The Lucians. They don't really like us. Only because we constantly say that Saren isn't really part of Lucium. But it's not. Seen a map lately? Maps don't count. All right, they, they just do that so they can conscript us into the Light's army. Just don't say anything, okay? Saren is home. It's a ramshackle wonderworld built by the lost, the low, the lightless in the margins, hanging above the wound with all the defiance her forebears passed on to their children. There's no finer city in Lucian than Saren, rickety in everything but faith. That's what I'm going to say, and you can't stop me. So, learn anything new about the Magni in your book? Just that Magni don't have to actually read it. 
What, like they have their own book? Wouldn't know. That's a different world from ours. The only time the regulations mention the Magni is when it's about how to do exactly what they say because they know best. Psh, you're probably smarter than half of them. Magic can't conjure wit. Ben Tilly used to say that before, you know, she mysteriously disappeared. All right, see you at dinner. You bet. All right, bring five some tubers. That's good to learn a little bit then. So, what exactly are tubers? Hmm. Wow, we actually grow stuff up top. What in the world is this? Oh, okay, it just loops back around. Gotcha. Huh. Thought we were in like a different new area in the home. I was thinking, who's hiding something here? But no, I. Alright. I know it's telling me where the tubers are, but I still wanted to explore around, see if I get some gold or something. Jack, just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner. Ah, of course I can't fall down there. Oh, now I can run. <laughs> of course. Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? Pentasad. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Calthus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Move your hand. Let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be... Ah! Damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing? Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you... I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick. So, what's the plan? I'm still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? It's gelling. Have faith. Caleb's gonna be all right. Dang, so he got hurt trying to get a gift for her. I could seriously die from that. I was surprised that the little girl actually said, well, that's dumb. All right, where are we going? Going down, then? The nobleman buying all the housing in the East Nets and Harrow's Edge. That's the mock. That's, uh, that's the they'll kill you kind of place, Luna. Noble means rich. Rich means magic. Magic means... What? I don't know. Healing crystals or something. Drugs from topside. I mean, I don't have a better idea. Yeah, no, this, this is smart. They say he's old. He'll have all kinds of medicine. It's a good play. Hmm. Sarah, the hive. Okay. Not a huge area. Little bar in here. Hope we can get something to save Caleb, but I don't know. it's just this kind of thing comes naturally to you. 
Like, it's so natural, you didn't even know what our plan was gonna be when we headed out, and now, bam! Here's how we're getting out of this. You're going to do great when I'm gone, Jack. I promise. She has a lot of faith in us, surprisingly. And what in the world are these? Magical relics? Man, I can't wait to see more. Really curious on the magic side. Also, no one's seeing us. We're getting suspicious as we're running around, jumping up there. Also, I'm curious what's down here. Oh, just a whole bunch of shops. Okay. I was hoping there'd be something unique or special. Nope. Not at all. Nice. Hopefully I get to actually keep this gold. I kind of get the feeling that after... Uh, this first chapter that we're gonna lose it. Your new best friend. Funny. Looks like they're in a hurry. What do you think they're doing here? I don't know. It's weird. I just want to see where there, they're at. That manor. That's where we're going. Huh. Okay then. Wait, what manor? Oh, Game face, right Jack. over there. Yep. Ah, crud. I thought I'd automatically grab onto it. That's weird. what any of this stuff is what color is life magic life magic look i don't know i think it's green just look for green hmm unforeseen and unbidden all right got a few documents letter from lavenry Dear sir, please be informed of hostile Nightblade activity in and around Topside in recent days. I recommend taking a temporary leave of your premises until the situation is resolved. Sir Denrith, Lavendry Intelligence Minister. That might be why the soldiers are here then. Letter of warning. Operation Burned Bridges Ago. All Rasharn All Rasharnian. Sympathizers advised to leave Saren immediately. Uh... Yeah, that's... That's just adding right to uh, my theory there. Where the rich were told about this. Everyone else... Could suffer the consequences. Uh, must be upstairs. I hear something. Kind of the sound of something I could pick up. It's coming from like over there. Hmm. I don't know. I guess interact with this then. 
Check it out. I was gonna say that was making the sound, but no, it wasn't. Oh, shit. You didn't say he was a Magnus. Do you know how to work a sigil? Pfft, no, you don't either. Details. Just open it or whatever. Uh, crystal locks. Shoot crystal locks with the matching color to open doors or trigger switches. Okay. Is that your definition of being careful or whoops? What are we gonna do with it? Wiggle it at Caleb? Maybe. Wh what do you mean, maybe? Uh oh. Shit! Let's get out of here. Run! Come uh -oh, on! Um... This way. Oh, I can actually hurt them. Okay. Let's try to take him down. Nice! We actually took him down. Is that alarms going off? Duh, where are we going? Where are we going? That's the city alarm. Uh, just for us? Saren's being attacked. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's somebody. Might as well get some target practice in right now. sense then why uh Move the people it, on Jack. the Rashan side were advised to Hurry. evacuate. I'm running faster than her. I must be in more of a hurry. Ah, I don't know where to go. Look out. Just keep moving. Oh I was hoping to save an innocent but All right, yep, we'll just run right by. Killing them's doing nothing for me. I'm surprised these work still. There's a chance they're not dead. They know what to do in a raid. We made them practice. You did. I made jokes the whole time. Feel guilty later. Ah! Ah! Are you all right? Right. Right behind you. Almost there. It's just up ahead. Dang. Yeah, the city's changed. It's shock. Don't let it in. How are you already a soldier? I'm just acting like I figure they act. Jack! Luna! Come on! We can make it! Jack!
You aren't done here, asshole! What are you doing? Just run, Jack. It's okay. No! Don't! like a rapid fire. Well, we got a whole bunch of colors showing. Blue, green, red. They have names for what you are. An unforeseen. A candle of Shaled. A child of the rivers. Lucky. In this case, yes. The next time it happens, it might kill you. We're driving the Rasharnians back from Saren. But you aren't safe here anymore. They'll hunt you down. You'll need help. Jack. You'll need help, Jack. I'm Grand Magnus Kirkin of the Order of Immortals, Field Marshal to the Light's Army. You can add late to all that. Fine. I know who you are. Seen the posters. Join the fight. So, Jack... Are you going to? The power inside you. It comes from the ley lines. All magic in this world does. And those of us lucky enough to be able to catch that magic can make it do almost anything we want. Okay, back up. This world? That's right. There's another under this one. The Shrouded Realm. That's where magic starts. Where the ley lines pour out from. Look at them, Jack. Try to see the web they make. Do I have to close my eyes or something? Uh... No. No, not at all. Just look at that ley line there, and then let yourself see through it. Oh, they're everywhere. Yes. They cover Avium like a net, bathing it in magic. This is why we fight in the Everwar. 
politics, land, ideologies, all of that is secondary to the control of magic. Who's we? The Magni Orders. The armies those orders command. Now that the other kingdoms are either lost or scattered, only Lucian remains to resist the tyrant of Rashan. Sandrak. More and more, he drives all forces into the dream itself, casting them down into that bottomless void under the watching judgment of the Pentasod. If it approves or not, it's never bothered to tell us. Almost out of time, Jack. Sandrak attacks us from all sides, and there is no place left to run. I know what you're about to say, but I'm not a soldier. I'll fix that. Getting a nice little uh, cinematic intro with some credits and all. Hmm. So far, I, I gotta say, it's pr pretty cool and pretty interesting. Wait, what? Using that like a rope? Gotta help me get an ability like that. That'd be so badass. Yeah, so far this game is uh, holding my attention, and I'm curious how it's going to go, and where it's going to go. This might be one I'll actually end up uh, recording a lot, just uh, out of pure joy. That's kind of one thing that makes it tough about some of the other games, is just uh, if it can keep me going or not, or if it feels like it drudges on. This one kind of feels like uh, it'll be one of those ones that keep my attention all the way. Hope so. I want to get this and a few others set for um, September hits. Well, this one will probably go into September, actually. Hopefully meet those other three people soon. <laughs> and a loading screen after all that. Ah, I'll give them that. That was a pretty cool cinematic. Holy shit. You've never seen the Pentasad up close. You saw how I lived under a giant bridge. A giant bridge, sir. Use it. What Rashan did to your home in Saren, they've been doing everywhere. Sandrak's forces are relentless now that Kalthus has fallen. This was all a sanctuary settlement of refugees fleeing the front lines before it became just another battlefield. It's as good a place as any to continue your training. This place is empty. Sandrak massacred everyone? Your sigils will help you focus your magic. Make it accurate. Keep it level. Prevent it from killing you. Your sigils mark you as a battle mage of Lucium and the Light's army. Magnus. Yes. Now, get ready to fight, Magnus. Fight what, sir? Battlefields have memories, Jack. I'll wake them for you. All right. Chapter two, the Magnus. Shoot a strike bolt. All right. Again. Do we have access to... No, we don't. Alright. 
so currently we got strikes, a precision bolt, a blue magic that is effective at long range, good at causing critical hits to enemy weak spots. And blink, a quick dodge that transports you several feet away from an attacker, effective against melee attack enemies, allowing you to get distance and counterattack strategically. Circle will move into cast, okay. Good. He's in blink. I wonder how long he spent uh, training so far. This way. Interesting. And we still only got this little area that's showing. Moon's Edge, Sanctuary of Thess. Ooh, what's this? Five thousand gold. Holy crap. I'm so glad I went back and grabbed that then. That's a lot of gold compared to what we've been picking up. That's a thousand times more than the most we picked up, which is five. Entirely without magic when we met. Innately, you knew how to defend yourself. Yeah, I really just knew how to clean weird gunk off the underside of a bridge. We all start somewhere. Right now, you need to learn how to defend yourself better. At range. Ah, uh, some more red essence. Yeah, 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 we'll complete our training. First, I want to keep uh, checking out, see what we can grab here. Because that gold's got to be used for something, right? Even the sigil stuff? What's this? Locked. Perfect. What's that? Hmm. Alright, let's... Let's keep following her, then. Oh, we do have a melee hit. Okay, cool. Go to that spell altar there. It will teach you how to summon a shield. How to summon a shield? Like a literal shield? Oh, I can almost land on there. Take it easy, Conscript. You're still vincible. Alright, now let's press see one cast can... shield, protect yourself against enemy attacks. You can still fire while your shield is up. Ooh. Excellent. That'll be very helpful in the firefight then. But it brings the question, how much damage can it take? I guess I won't find out quite yet. That's alright. I guess we'll find out uh, later in the field some point after our training. Still wonder, uh... Might come back to some of these locations. Especially in case I miss anything. You're what's called a Triarch, Jack. The Pentasod has gifted you with the ability to manifest all three colors of magic. Some Magni only know certain colors? There are benefits to it. The more limited your palette, the easier it is to master. The Triarch trades that mastery for versatility. Well, just because you have versatility doesn't mean you can't necessarily master them all. It just gives you more options, more paths, more that you 
can master rather than be limited in the one. That altar there holds your first red spell and a sigil to harness it. Take them both. Okay, do I take the blue one off? What? What? Oh, okay, I put the red one on my left arm. Got it. No, just, just reach for the red sigil, Jack. Neat. Yes, neat. Now take the spell. Ugh. It, it feels angry. Spells are alive. Red magic is particularly violent, but the sigil will bend it to your will. Hmm. I start to cast Breach Fire. Breach Fire to high damage at close range. Oh. So it shoots out a blast. Interesting. Like a shockwave. Interesting. One golden chest opened out six, and there's one shroud vein. All right, guess we keep going. Don't allow them to close in on you. If they do, switch to your red magic and blast them back. Know which of your colors is best in any given situation. Huh. Don't get overconfident. The Rasharnians will always have you outnumbered. Yeah, you know, it's very ironic that there's the crabs just because uh Luna had uh, asked that question. Hundred crabs or one hundred foot crab. Alright. What are we learning next? What are we doing next? Triangle cycle between strike spells. Okay. So Take that healing stone. You're hurt. Okay. Health crystal, use the right button, use the health crystal to heal yourself. Currently I have no health crystal. Alright. Got one. Lost Diary. You know, I wish some of those things were destructible. Cast a path. Shock Some spells are not focused through your sigil, but through a totem. Take that one. Through a totem? Okay, uh, I will in just a sec here. Oh, they pick it up. Good. Don't know then if we'll be going this way or that way. Probably that way. Oop. Saw that glow of a chest. Whoa! I, I can feel it. Coiling. What is that? It's a lash. You can use it to pull enemies towards you. Most of them, anyway. The larger ones, not so much? Not so much. Hmm. Huh. Okay. That's awesome because I had seen that like whip thing and I guess it's this lash ability or lash um uh totem. Already it's given me a lot of stuff to work with, which is awesome. I'm glad it's not just sticking me with some pretty basic stuff. Actually giving me some variety and versatility. To play and experiment with in combat. Excellent. Oh, so I can drop him part way. Okay. Good awesome. Enough. Go to the next altar. 
That'll be very handy. And I still seriously want to find a place that I can actually use this stuff. Oh, health crystal. Nice. Yeah, this world's very interesting with its magic. Even if there's a war and all going on. Oh, did I somehow jump around that? Oops. Of all the colors, green magic is the most curious. It's the province of spirits, of death, life, and transition. Yowch! Ugh! Guessing this spell emphasizes the death part. Hmm. There is a war to win. Hmm. To cast Storm Shards, rapid fire spell that also homes in on targets. Alright. Well, what is that? Looks very alien to me. Hmm. Okay. This altar grants you the animate spell. One thing that doesn't make sense to me is the fact that there's these altars just here in the open for all these spells and totems. Like, can't just anybody grab them then? Which point if so, why are they still here and have not been claimed? Animate allows you to manipulate some objects into different shapes. Some. How will I know which ones? They have been marked by another Magnus with a glyph. Look for it. Find the green glyph on that statue there. Then direct it. Okay. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I guess we jump over to it. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm not gonna go rip down right there because I have a feeling if I do, uh, it's just gonna count as hurt myself. Well, killing slash hurt myself. More of these crabs, okay. Oh, more of them dropped gold, excellent. Haha, <laughs> already trying to break the game. Not working, but that's totally fine. I just want to check out what's here. Well, at least right now we're finding plenty of health crystals. Ready yourself. Not telling me I have to use any uh, specific spells, so I guess right now it's just uh, experiment all we want. Oh wow, archers are flexible fuckers then. All right. Okay, I can see how combat can get a bit complex here, then. 
shows how you gotta try to keep control of the battlefield as much as you can. Oh no! I am like just shy. Is there anything I can get on? Oh, I guess I can't walk up here. Good. No. I saw gold and stuff up there. I this want it. This is also I can join the Lights Army? You already did by accepting a sigil from their field marshal. This is training. You mean you? You just give me one and boom? Boom, sir. And yes. Then tell me about the Order of the Immortals, sir. Back in Saren, you said you were their leader, too. That's a... Are they a different thing? The Immortals are more than soldiers. We're the champion protectors of Lucian. It's Masters of Magic and Order Elite. We're the tip of the spear. How many Immortals are there, sir? Too few. get up there and get those chests. But I don't think there is a way from right here, it looks like. Which sucks. Though I guess maybe going up here... I'll be able to jump down? Where's she at? Outside of here. She must be very strong then if she is a leader in the Immortals. Especially to be the leader. Observatory Row. Okay. I gotta know. Yep, okay. I'm sure we come back here later. Remember to use more than one spell. Our defense spells. She has been can cast a shield spell, absorbs damage, blocks damage. Okay. Deal enough damage to break it. Or just outright go around. Bad. Say going around is a viable option. Now, what are we getting from that one? We're just getting a lot of goodies to start off. Start us off then. Furies are powerful spells that will take great energy to cast. This one will allow you to break enemy shields. Sounds useful. Furies are powerful spells that will drain your mana bar. It looks like our capacity went up, if I'm not mistaken. Pull row on square, press square to cast shatter, you shatter to damage multiple enemies at once and break enemy shields. Oh, it shoots a wave, even better. While you constantly draw magic from the shrouded realm. It can drain quickly in combat engagements. Those crystals there, use them to replenish your magic quickly and stay in the fight. Mana crystals, hold square to use a mana crystal and recharge your fury mana bar. Oh. 
Okay. That's only for Fury, so that's more about using the, uh, stronger, more powerful spells. If I am not... This way. There's not so much of a need. And I can stockpile them. Okay. I think I'm getting some of the rules here. And that just takes me back there. Oh, can I get even higher? Yes, I can. Man, how much we to learn this training? With the right training, could have repelled Sandrax forces here, saved the lives of those that called it home. Yeah. And why didn't they? We can't be everywhere at once. So, kind of like Saren then. Save that anger for your final challenge. Oh, so we're just about done with training then? It sounds like. I have the right spell for that yet. Oh, he's absolutely right. We do not. I was trying to prove him wrong. <laughs> What is that? Prepare yourself, Magnus. Oh, Oathbreaker. All right. You fall here, you die here. Dang. Um. Dang, I got I gotta move faster here. Um Okay. I can use the environment to stop them. Good. Otherwise, it's really fast. All right, let's see how the green match goes on it. Works all right. Oh, card! Heal! Heal! Not take a hit well. Soldier wraps. What? You found a bracer. You can equip it by pressing the touchpad and going to a gear tab. Bracers grant you armor, which reduces incoming damage. Perfect. Excellent gear aim you wish to equip. On your journey, you'll be able to find or buy new sigils, totems, rings, and bracers. Each has different properties that can increase your power. The higher the rarity of the item, okay. We got one of these systems. The more powerful it will be. Experiment with different types of gear to suit your playstyle. So this is a common, it'll probably go up to epic I would assume. Epic or legendary. Plus 75 armor, so I definitely can't complain there. Blue chain totem, blue magic power plus 10. 17 damage, 8.2 fire rate, 23 capacity. Red breach fire, 97 damage, 1.4 fire rate, 3 capacity. Blue strike bolt, 36 damage, 4 fire rate, 8 capacity. Hmm. Alright. Currencies. Alright. 15,341 gold, 7 blue essence, 32 red, 34 green. Zero legendary essence. 
Oh no, I wonder how you get that. Then got consumables, the two crystals, got stats of health, fury mana, blink, armor, shield health, blue magic, red magic, green magic power. Okay. That was impressive. The oath broken of Kalthus are a difficult challenge. Thank you, sir. High marks all around, Jack. Meet me topside. All right, we'll do. But first, I want to see if I can snag another free uh, health crystal. For continuing on, because that was definitely tough. The weaker enemies aren't so bad. But a big bulldozer like that? Holy crap. Alright, so... Whoa. What is this tower? It's still intact, so... It's gotta be for something important. Those were just spectrals, sir. When do I see a real fight? In time. There's more to learn than just spell casting. Like what? In your case, self-control. Why the frown, soldier? You've done well today. I just... I guess I... Look, sir, I don't want to do this part. The just a soldier thing. Don't get me wrong, I'll fight. I promised a friend I would. Promised my family. Did you? It doesn't matter. What I'm getting at is I want to be an immortal. I want to fight this war as one of you. One of the elite. It doesn't work that way. With respect, sir, that lie is just so... How do I put this? I'm not buying it. All right, you're training me. Personally, you command the entire army of Lucium, and it's just what? It's, oh, hey, how about I raise a few phantoms here for this kid I just met because I guess I got time to spare? It absolutely works that way. Because then that makes you special. That's where this is going? Tell me, just how many soldiers do you think Lucium has left to train? Everyone that can fight already is, and we're still losing. Sandrax literally pushed us to the edge. Oh, I... W well, uh... Yeah, I like your spirit, Jack. I like you. I found a child so lost and so angry whose new powers could easily make them a threat to the kingdom I protect. The choice was either to kill you or to turn you into a weapon against Rasharn. Because we need everyone we can get. Back up. Option A was to kill me? Don't mistake my attention here for an endorsement into the Order, Jack. You'll put in the time, on the front lines, like everyone else. How much time are we talking? Well, that answers that question. Wait, really? You can't pop up with the five years later and go right to a loading screen? Come on. On deck. Our attention. Thank you, Marshal. Anyone that stood up needs to stay that way. Their next wave is moving in, and we've got positions that need bodies. The Rasharnians capture this ley line. We can all lie back down. Permanently. You're with Barker, right? I need him to line up his strikers along the eastern wall. There's a red division on its way. Yes, sir. Round two. Rasharnians haven't had enough yet? 
We haven't given them enough yet. That still work? Important one does. Good. You're Holland Mead's oldest, aren't you? Yes, sir. You've got a fear in your eye you don't need today, son. Sorry, sir. Today's the day they turn tail. I know these things. I told your father the same thing at Sundown 10 when he was your age. Sure enough, it happened then, too. Bit easier to swallow when you're immortal, sir. That's just a silly name to make our enemies cry at night. Look this. This is real. No Roshanian spell gets through this today. Thank you, General. Surprised you're still here, sir. Isn't selection today? You know it is, Jack. And both of us know I'm ready. Guess it's too bad you're here then. Tell me why you want to be an immortal so badly. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely look a lot more experienced in our current gear, then. But, uh, a little over an hour, so I'd say this is a good spot to, uh, to stop right now. Oh, just start chapter three. Perfect, all right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and end it here, and, uh, continue the next recording from this point on. Let's start chapter three. Uh, so far, I gotta say, pretty, pretty interesting. The combat is definitely probably my favorite part because it's so different with these strikes of the different colors than these controls of the Shatter Fury, the Lash, then our augments of Blink, Shield, and Animate. So as this gear system. I'm kind of curious how it goes then, since it's based on rarities. So obviously, if you got uh, a what, let's say, um, it probably does go to like epic. If you have an epic compared to a common, the epic's obviously gonna be a lot better. So eventually, the goals is going to become trying to get the best gears that you can rarity wise so that way you can get more benefits from them like I'm sure actually when you get uh, what I'm not sure I wish I could say whatever the next one would be past common but I'm kind of not sure uncommon I guess common uncommon Epic, legendary, something like that. So then, let's say else you get uh, whatever the third tier is. The third tier will probably have this stat, uh, uh, one stat bonus plus a second one, uh, legendary or epic, whatever's past it. We'll probably have like three or four, and so on. That's that's kind of how how I have a feeling it's gonna go. So that way it's not just gonna be the single thing it dishes out. It'll dish out more, so that we can better uh, customize. What I think it's gonna be. And I hope we can go back to some of those previous areas, especially because I wonder how these Shroud fans work. Or Shroud fans? However you say it. Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying this too and are as interested as I am in the story. Till the next one, take care and have a great day.